Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. Don't forget to fill out the survey below to help give me feedback on this channel to help it improve. The link is in the description below. Today, we're going to work with binary search trees in more depth. We're going to write an algorithm to do a level order traversal of a binary tree. This is the underlying method of the famous breadth first search algorithm. A level order traversal of a tree involves traversing or visiting each of the nodes on a tree in order by level. So the nodes will be visited in order of depth. The root node will be the first visited, then its children will be visited, and then its grandchildren, and so on and so forth. In our example tree, that would mean that the root, 3 here, will be visited first, then its children, 2 and 5, and finally its grandchildren, 1, 4, and 7. What is important in breadth first search, or a level order traversal, is that we do not go from one level to another level without first exhausting all the nodes on the previous level. For instance, we should never visit 1, 4, or 7 before we have visited all the nodes on the previous level. Breadth first search is useful when we are doing a nearest neighbor search. Imagine instead of searching of numbers on our trees, we were searching city blocks. If we wanted to find the nearest gas station in a city on a grid pattern, we would want to use breadth first search to ensure that the first city block we get to with a gas station is also the closest gas station to us. So we start the search at our current block, or the root of our tree. Then we search all our neighboring blocks, then their neighboring blocks, and so on. If we find a gas station four blocks away, we will be able to say with confidence there is no closer gas station since by using breadth first search, we know we searched all the blocks one, two, and three away for gas stations and found none before searching for blocks four away. So how do we implement a level order traversal? HackerRank tells us a queue might be helpful. Why is that? If you need a refresher on queues versus stacks, you should rewatch my video on day 18 of this series. A queue is a first and first out data structure, and we will leverage this to ensure the order in which we traverse nodes as we discover adjacencies. When we start at the root, we will look at its children and add them to the queue. We will traverse each node by popping it from the front of the queue and visiting it. So we will start with three. Imagine we have a queue and we add three to it. We pop it and see if three has children and find that it has two and five as children. Our queue is now two and five and we'll visit two first since it was added first. So we will pop it from the front of the queue and discover that it has one as a child. So our queue is now five and one. And we'll visit five first and then discover that it has four and seven as children. And we will visit those next. And that's exactly the order that we want to print out for our level order traversal. Now if we used a stack instead, we would start at three in the stack and pop it and find two and five. We would have to pop 5 from the top of the stack since it was added after 2. And then we'd visit it to find its children 4 and 7. So our stack would have 7 at the top, then 4, then 2. So we'd visit 7, then visit 4, then visit 2, and then find that 2 has a child 1, and then visit it. That is the equivalent of doing depth first search, or a depth first traversal. So let's implement the level order method. We're continuing to use the node and tree code from yesterday. So HackerRank will help us to initialize a tree and it will call level order with the root of the tree. So we're first gonna initialize our queue of nodes to search. And we're gonna use a list in Python as our working queue since we can append to the end of the list and pop from the beginning of the list to use it like a queue. We will also make a string to keep track of which nodes we have traversed and print this at the end.
We will start off our queue with the root node we traverse. In a disconnected graph, or if you're searching multiple trees, you will seed your queue with all the roots at this point. Then, while the queue is not empty, or while we still have nodes to search, we will pop off the front node and traverse it. If it has children, we will add it to the queue. Then, we will add it to the string of nodes we have traversed and that we will output at the end. So we're going to do this inside of a while loop. And while we still have nodes to search, we'll pop one off. from the front, and if the node has children, we will add it. We'll add the left child, then the right child. Then we will add it to the string of nodes we've traversed. And add a space afterwards. Then when we're done running through all the nodes, we will exit the while loop and then print the nodes we've traversed. All right, let's test our solution. Looks good. Let's submit it and see how we did. Awesome. Smash that thumbs up for a good solution. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to fill out the survey to help give me feedback. The link is in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will know when I post the next video. If you missed the previous video, you can click here to review it or click here to view the full Hacker Rank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please comment down below. Thanks and I'll see you later.